Bon dia, Vito. Bon dia, Nick. We haven't seen each other in ages, have we? Yeah. <laughs> we had some weather that wasn't so nice to do some videos. <laughs> yeah. But we've had like about six weeks of rain. Yeah. Pretty but much. finally, we have again this beautiful day, sun, and it's still what, 10 o'clock? And it starts to being warm already. Yeah, 10 o'clock and we are with 17 degrees. Yeah, I've got my T-shirt on. <laughs> I wish I'd worn shorts. Um, whereabouts are we this morning? So this morning we are in a small village named Pombaria. It's a couple of houses only and belongs to the municipality of Alveazer. And so the town of Alveaz is less than five minutes from here where we are. Okay, and uh, we're quite close to the A13? Yeah, less than five minutes we have also the A13, so that connects to Coimbra or to Lisbon. Uh, we are around 25 kilometers from Tumar. Um, yeah, it's really well connected and we have this peaceful year. It is, it's kind of, it's really close to lots of places, Yeah. Mm -hmm. but all you can hear is birdsong. Yeah. It's a very quiet location. Yeah. Uh, in um, Alviesra, there's um, supermarkets, schools. There's supermarkets, schools, doctors, there is everything that you need in Alviesra, so less than five minutes from here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we're here to see this um, beautiful property. Yeah. Do you want to tell me about it? Yeah, it's a beautiful property of around 4,300 something, 376 square meters. Well done. <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> there is uh, three different houses. Yep. Two of them are already done and uh, we will see that are really beautiful. There is another building. Uh, that still needs work. If someone wants to do also another apartment or even two apartments is possible to do there. There is a swimming pool. There is this beautiful garden here in the front. Um, some olive trees, some fruit trees. And then the land goes up here and with beautiful views. And there is some eucalyptus on the top. There is two wells on the property that you can use also for water. Well, the 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 house have uh, water and electricity from the from the the company, but there is two wells that you can use for irrigation or even for the the swimming pool. Okay, so there's mains water, mains electricity, and I'm guessing a septic tank. And septic tank. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and um, the two wells you can use for irrigating the land for the vegetable land. fruit yeah. trees. Mm -hmm. Should we go and have a look around? Let's start. Oh, this is quite big, so I'm just going to let you take the lead and okay. let you describe everything because um, otherwise I'll get lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we will start with the with this first house here. The smaller house, then we will see that part that is a garage and a workshop or a workshop place. So this first house, it's the smaller one, but as you can see, it's not so small. We can go inside here through the living room. Okay, so you come into this sitting room. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a salamander for the eating the house. They have air conditioned here also. Then here we have the kitchen. Also have a separate door to outside. So there's plumbing for a dishwasher here. Dishwasher and there is the, the washing machine is in that other building that we will see. Have everything that you need here. Mm -hmm. It's a good size. Here the good size. Then here we have a bathroom. We have two bedrooms here. Okay. 
This one is a little bit smaller, but still. It's facing the garden mm -hmm. upstairs. And here we have a dressing room. Okay, so just a dressing room here. Just a dressing room here. But again, this could be another a sit sitting area. Can be a sitting area also, yeah. And nowadays they decided to put a dressing room here, but can be a sitting area. They have another sitting area here outside that is really nice, even in winter, because it's facing east and south. So you have sun the most part of the day here. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to be here when it's cold in winter and there is also here a small toilet another wc another wc over there okay and then here outside <clears throat> we have this building that is a garage and a um, workshop area You've got this covered carport here is a covered cardboard here that you can use also in summertime or even when it's raining to be outside having lunch. Here they have the washing machine yep. from this house. And a kind of storage area. And the storage area. Here can be, as now it is, a workshop area or a garage also. Okay. Even if there is plenty of space to put the cars that we will see in a moment. Okay, so you could use this as a, as a workshop and then you can use as use, a workshop and use, use that the other barn over there as a park as a parking area, and there you have plenty of space for cars. So the first house is this one, beautiful one. You want to show the swimming pool first? Yeah. <laughs> and then we will show the biggest house. So here we have the swimming pool. Now it's covered to, because of the winter and don't be dirty from the leaves. <clears throat> There's another point now. You could probably go for a swim now, couldn't you? Sorry? You could probably go for a swim now. It's warm enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next time we can bring, bring our. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this so is the this main, is now. The main house. <clears throat> Here downstairs, we have this living room. It's beautiful, the floor here also. Let's put some light on. Uh, I was yeah. saying that these floorboards are incredibly wide. Mm hmm. Um, now, you were saying when we first had a look around that this area could be separated. You could yeah. have a small kitchenette in here. Exactly. This could be another letting Yeah, unit. if you want to use the property to live and also to have um, to do some kind of tourism, Airbnb or something like that, you can separate this area because here we have this living room. You will see we have a bedroom and a bathroom. On the place that you are, it's possible to make a kitchenette because all the piping are on that corner there yep. and close here to the upstairs because upstairs you will see we will have uh, two bedrooms and kitchen and uh, living, room. living room and bathroom and with another separate entry so it's possible to separate it into different unities. I mean it's funny you've got a kind of separate two bedroom unit upstairs you've got mm -hmm. this one bedroom unit here and then you've got the two bedroom house next house door there, next and then the, the other house. The other building there that can be transformed also into other at least two different apartments also. So there's the potential for a lot of uh, letting income from holiday yeah. lets. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and with the swimming pool, with a beautiful garden, mm -hmm. and really well connected, really yeah, close to many different places here. It's a good one for, for letting, yeah. good mm -hmm. spot. Yeah, so you want to show the yep. bedroom? And 
the bathroom. The bathtub. Okay. Oh, careful. Yes. <laughs> so let's see upstairs. So there is already this door here if you if you decided to rent it out the places and separate you can close this door only or if it's a big family that want to rent everything mm -hmm. you can have the both spaces also rented for the same people perfect yeah and so here we have so one of the bedrooms this is a street bedroom have his own bathroom there So this one's en suite. Yeah. Now this door was the old traditional access to the upstairs. To the upstairs. So outside we can show you then there is a stairs that was coming here. They decided to close this door. They lighted the door only for decoration. But it's possible to open again if you want to open a separate door here to enter into this uh, bedroom. But you have a separate door also coming to this uh, this level of the house so okay but if you want to open the stairs is already done here and there is stairs also for the living room that they close also the door there they put a window but it's possible also to open there okay and use that stairs and, and traditionally this would have been the living area up here yeah and yeah it would have exactly been the animals and storage yeah in a day yeah downstairs. yeah mm -hmm. okay so here then we have one of the bedrooms a second, the second bedroom. And then we have this living dining room and, <clears throat> and the kitchen. Okay, I'm going to go to the so kitchen first. So it's a, a really big kitchen. Still have a fireplace. Plumbing for a dishwasher. Plumbing for dishwasher here. There is the washing machine is in the bathroom that we will see in a moment. It's a big old kitchen, isn't it? It's a really big kitchen, yeah. Yeah. Then here we have this sitting area that we already saw, the, the dining area and the living room with a, a salamander. There is still a bread oven that is closed here but it's only a metal door that can be opened and can still be used okay and this is the window that i was saying that was before a door through the stairs okay. that was coming up here so from there you can see the stairs that go to the bedroom okay so they're the stairs to that the pink to door that. in the, yeah. the yeah. first bedroom yeah okay. and here was another door that if someone decided to open again can open again this area <clears throat> okay and then we have a bathroom here where is also the washing machine okay so you've got a shower and a WC and plumbing for a washing machine and then we have this the door to go outside so the separate entry to this upper part of the house and this is the third building that nowadays in this part here down they have um right, hang on a second just before you go in oh, that yeah. door i'm just because it's kind of confusing but if i show it from this angle you can kind of see the scale, oh, okay, the scale okay. of the building okay so um, we go here what, uh, no now we'll go back through this way i just wanted to sh because i thought this was just a garage when we first ah okay but are you doing the the, the are you record i am recording oh, okay. <laughs> i was now i was is a that, little bit that, confused I, when, when, <laughs> I understand. when i first saw this i thought oh it's in another garage yeah 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 i understand um, but, but then when you when i came out the other side it's yeah. like wow this you realize that is a, a huge building yeah, yeah. Okay. so right let's go this way yeah so this uh, building that is really big that so here we will see only one part of the building from downstairs there is another door on that side that then we will see now it's here it's a workshop place there is still another room here 
But this this could be another huge letting unit or yeah. two separate Two flats. separate, one downstairs and another one upstairs. So okay. there is this door here to the outside and then there is still another room on that side that we will see yep. uh, also with the door. So And here it's easy if you want to take these walls or making uh, open space or even a bedroom, living room. It is quite easy because the um, the Vegas, the block and beam ceiling, run front to back. Mm -hmm. So these walls here are not are um, not supporting. supporting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's which easy. Way, to which do way it. are we going now? Are we well, going this way? we can go this way to <laughs> see the upper part. <laughs> It's, 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 quite, it's quite confusing, isn't it? Yeah, because it's so many things, <laughs> so many buildings and so many possibilities of mm -hmm. those things here. <clears throat> so from here we can have access to the upper part of the building. Oh, we missed this. It's just a little animal house here. Yeah, it's just an animal house. They used to have their chickens. Now they don't have it. So... Here we go to the upper part. This is the building, as I told, needs works. Um, you need, need to a do new a new roof, yep. and then you can decide what to do in here uh, inside of the house because this wall here it's only a um, fiber board. Yeah, border. So there is then this. If you take that one, it's make a really big, nice space here. Yeah. You could use these two rooms still to do a bedroom, bathroom, and continue having all of that area that you could do a, a kitchenette and a living room, and you have a separate apartment here, and downstairs the same. Mm -hmm. You want to show this no, last show room? That, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Where now we talk? <laughs> so we will use the same door to go down. Well, and from here we can see a bit of the land. The land goes up, made kind of a triangle here. There is the two wells over there on the top. There is some cork trees, some olive trees here and some of the eucalyptus upstairs still belong to the property. <clears throat> okay, uh, make great firewood. Make great firewood. So now we can see the front part of the building, this building that you can renovate it. So as you see, it's quite quite big upstairs and down you can do two different apartments it's huge if you um if you slapped a new roof on that um put some new windows in this would be a beautiful building yeah it will be a beautiful building with this small garden here in front well behind of you there is already a nice uh, area to have lunch outside it's a covered area close to the kitchen from the other house there So, and then we have this huge barn, then you can use it as you wish, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of space for parking. There is that construction there that they haven't done anything, but could be even, uh, you could even done there a, a bathroom a supporting to the Swimming, okay, pool for the swimming pool yeah that and use the rest as i don't know could be a um a barbecue area also yeah parking area outside outside, outside yeah yeah there is um, plenty of space and in that uh little shed there that's the uh, uh that's where is the pump the and pump filter for the for the swimming, swimming pool, pool. <clears throat> yeah can show it yeah, so here they have the things from the swimming pool. Okay. Um, we're not going to go up on the land, are we? Upstairs? I don't think that's necessary. No. Because we, are, we can see it from here, what it is. Yep. They have some olive trees, some 
oaks and some um, cork trees. Okay. Beautiful view, but that's the same view that we can see from downstairs. That is already a beautiful view here to the hills. So all the property is facing south. Mm -hmm. That means you will have sun all day here and all here. We are in November and there is sun. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is it's been quite rare recently. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I'm just going to quickly pan around and show this barn. And then, oh, I like the roof. Yeah, it needs some... It needs some attention. Some attention. It, it's beautiful. But it's a beautiful space. can be a beautiful outside space mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Now, we didn't mention the price of it all. Not yet. Okay. That's the biggest surprise and the really good surprise because all of this is only 220,000 euros. It's a great price. Too. It's a great price for Two, the property that yep. we have here. 220,000 euros. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, let's get some drone shots. Let's do it. And then we can see the land and we don't have to walk up the hill. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Ciao. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Thank you.